Let's see, taste test, here we go. All right guys, welcome back to another cooking stream with HK, which is me, Cook Kitchen with K. And uh, shut up chat. And today we are going to be making one of my mother's dishes, which is chicken biryani. It is an Indian dish. Basically it's just chicken with rice, uh, but with a little more spices and whatnot. I'm talking. But anyways guys, uh, this is cooking stream number two in Texas. Oh, by the way, which I didn't say. Uh, I know in my, uh, I don't really keep up with my YouTube channel as much though, but yes, I have officially moved to Texas. I've been living here for a month now. And yeah, this is my new apartment and I'm gonna be doing some cooking streams here every two weeks. Let's get into it though. And the recipe will be found under the description. So uh, let's get started. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared. Where do I even like start? What do I even do? So basically the chicken biryani calls for a lot of Indian spices. And just so you guys know, these spices, yes, they can be found in your typical American grocery store, some of them, but not all. But the problem is if you get, for example, like garam masala uh, at a American store, it's not gonna be the same as like the one you get from an Indian store or an Indian brand, which is imported directly from India. So I always recommend that if you're going to make an Indian dish, go to a local Indian market like Patel Brothers, Apna Bazaar, you know, et cetera, et cetera, and shop, the, shop, shop for the ingredients at those stores. Those stores, they usually have the best spices and stuff. Meat, mallet, I wonder if it hurts like, yo, like what if somebody like smacks your ass? With, why am I doing that? Bang, spank, HK, you've been bad. Here's my meat tenderizer, boom. That was not me. All right, I guess I can get started. I think I will maybe have make the rice while the chicken and stuff is uh, cooking and whatever. I'm sorry. Dishwasher. Guys, don't make fun of my old Dell laptop. I have a Dell laptop from 2008. I mean 2010, but it works pretty good. <laughs> Ugh. What are those noises? I'm taking out my stuff. Taking out my stuff, sheesh. All right. Stop, oh guys, what's your problem? Are you cooking for 12 people? No, so should this be fine? Guys, remember stainless steel is the way to go, stainless steel. Let me just wash that down. That's quite big. Guys, is this called cumin seed or cumin seed? Or is it cumin seed? All right, so let's cut up the chicken first. Hey guys, welcome to the cooking. Let's do that. So what are you guys having for, uh... All right, listen to this. La 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 la, you didn't hear that. You know what, fuck it. Give me a sesame, what's your problem, dude? Guys, we already had this conversation, and I need to hear it again. Do not wash chicken, right? It's a debate that we will never, it's never settled. Yeah, my mom was like, make sure you wash your chicken. Thank you, Agent so, K. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. Stop! <laughs> hey, you, finally awake. You're going to end up washing hands after, right? Uh, so all the foodborne bacteria. Oh, no, no, no. After I, you, I cut up this chicken, absolutely, I'm washing my hand. In my country, we wash chicken in dishwasher. That's sure right inside of dishwasher. Dishwasher? It three days for her to pass chicken all the way through, though. So we have make plan ahead for this. Sometime chicken kill dishwasher because Stupid. she's vulnerable to bacteria. That, okay, village have more dishwasher where that came from. You know what's funny, uh, Sesame? You put that as a joke. But do you know there's a show on TLC, my, uh, uh, the most cheapest people in the world? One lady, I kid you not, she made a whole entire lasagna in the dishwasher, but she obviously covered it with the aluminum foil and whatnot. But she made an entire lasagna in the dishwasher using the hot and the steam water in there. And she said, this is way better than using an oven. 
Boy, did it look disgusting as fuck. My neighbor Vlad and he's such cheapskate. He cook entire meals using magnifying glass. He have only magnifying glass in all of village. Jeez. And he use it to cook whole meal one centimeter at a time. One time I catch him sneaking in my house to cook on my oven though. That when I put about 27 padlocks in pillowcase and beat shit out of him. Now he not cooking anything because he in wheelchair. <laughs> okay, ah. Borat. Thank you, Borat, for making Serving an appearance. Right. I run, like run, to use run, avocado run, run, oil, run. and I know this is something that, no shit, everyone does that. Everybody uses avocado oil, but I like using avocado oil for high heat cooking. I don't, I'm not really a fan of like, you know, vegetable or canola or sunflower, safflower. My go-to is usually bald will be coming in an hour and a half. So, uh, my go-to is usually uh, avocado oil for high heat cooking. All right, guys, three to four. I'm actually going to put four tablespoons of oil. I was always told that when the pot, the pan, or skillet gets hot, that's when it's best to add oil. Is that true? As long as, like, the pot or the pan is not have water in it then the water and oil together will create like a little spark and it will start splashing everywhere so i'm learning you know I, that's what i've been told add one tablespoon of cumin guys cumin come in cumin so this is the one i got uh from the brand uh swath uh cumin seeds you don't want crushed cumin seeds you don't want cumin powder uh, cumin seeds is, uh, the best to go with, according to my mom. According to Mama K. So the recipe calls for one tablespoon of cumin seeds. I like these little measuring, uh, spoons I have because it's two, uh, two of them. So if one side is dirty, I can add on the other side. Okay, add a handful of fried onions. All right, so let me uh, give this a nice little mix. Okay, can you guys see this? Yeah, you guys could see it. Okay, as long as you can see it. What the fuck? All right, so by the way, guys, when you see fried onions, right? Let me lower the heat. You think of this brand, right? This is your typical uh, brand you can buy. Uh, fresh gourmet crispy onions. But my mom said, go to the Indian market and get these crispy fried onions because they are jam packed with a lot of flavors. And it's not going to be the same if you use the other brand that's meant for casserole. Go with this brand. I mean, you're supposed to add a handful though, but I fucking love onions, so I'm gonna make sure this bitch has a lot of onions. Add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. So the ginger garlic paste I have, which is another one that's jam-packed with a lot of flavors, is a brand called Swad Ginger Garlic uh, Paste. So we're gonna add one tablespoon of this. No, she won't. Do what? I can tell you another one she wants. What? So one tablespoon. Woo! 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 God, it's splashing everywhere. What the fuck? Ah! Oh my god, it burns. Okay, okay. Alrighty. Two big spoons of tomato puree, which I opened up right here. Tomato puree, two giant spoons. And when they say giant spoon, not a tablespoon. But you know how like the spoon set usually comes with that one giant fork and spoon? Go for those. So uh, oil I put, one tablespoon of cumin seed, handful of fried onions, one tablespoon of ginger garlic, two big spoons of tomato puree. Please don't splatter. Please don't splatter.
Hey, that's my song. Mix together and then add one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so I have the uh, grinder, which, where is it? Where is the grinder? Okay, so I have the uh, grinder, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt. Uh, looking good already, hey, listen. One fourth tablespoon, one fourth tablespoon. Do I not have that? Here, we're gonna just throw in this much. That's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, I'm gonna even put it more lower. Yeah, I think I had it way too high up. Guys, stop, I'm not farting. Three tablespoons of biryani masala. Okay, so three tablespoons of biryani masala. All right, guys. It is smelling like real Indian up in here. How do Indians smell like HK, you racist? Don't forget to close the doors. Oh, yes. This okay, guys, so after that, add me. one tablespoon of garam masala. Garam masala. You can actually make your own garam masala at home, but like, we're not there yet. All right. One fourth teaspoon of red chili powder. Okay, this one. What are you sniffing? Uh, this one, we have to put very, very tiny of it. Uh, because this is what makes it spicy. This is what makes it real spicy. Ooh, let me not get my eye on it. Yeah. Red chili powder is extremely spicy. Alrighty, uh, wash the chicken and then add to pot. Cover it with lid, cook on slowly while chicken cooks. If the chicken is sticking to the pot, then add a spoon of water and mix it. Yeah, we're gonna have to add a spoon of water. Yeah, we're gonna have to add a little bit of water because it's definitely sticking. I noticed that. Yeah, okay, so now it's much better. Now that I added some water in there, more water. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to add a little bit more, even more water. Yeah, before it was way too, like, dry. You gonna dry it? <laughs> Alright, so the chicken is in. I'm cooking along with you, but my ground beef doesn't work the same as yours. I think I messed you, messed up. Ah, you use ground beef, eh? Well, I don't know about that. Thank God for water. Now it's not sticking. Before I was getting worried, I said, wait a minute, this looks a little too dry. And it looks like it's sticking to the pot. So I'm gonna have to take a look, check on it again in like a few minutes just to make sure it's not like sticking. And now we are going to boil the rice. And no, I don't use a rice cooker. I actually was never a fan of rice cookers, but I know why people use it, it's much easier. But I actually like to boil the rice and have that all uh, ready. I know I'm facing, you guys, all you see is my back. I'm sorry about that. My back is not the prettiest, but hey. Okay, so now you want this all on low heat and uh, let it cook, let the chicken cook. How the hell you even open this shit? Okay, I have a question. Why do people wash rice though? Even though if like you're boiling the rice and you're planning to strain it. I, I, a serious question though. Why do people wash the rice prior? I actually genuinely want to know that. You don't? Starch, to get the extra starch, gets the starch off. Ah. Cause I was always taught, like even when I made rice, like before when I used to make it often at home, my mom was like, make sure you wash the rice. Ah, oh, that pot might be a bit too small. Who is washing the dishes? Me. Uder says he's not helping with the dishes. Band, F Uder. No, we don't say F Uder. I mean, he's a man, he just wants to eat. And it's his day off, I don't expect him to wash anything. Is there oil in there too? So I started off, uh, so my mom said to add three to four tablespoons of cooking oil. So I added three to four tablespoons of uh, avocado oil. But like, I noticed like when I started adding like the spices and stuff, it just started sticking. So then she said, just add a little bit more water. Are you gonna be calling Mama Kate to grade your dish? I mean, I am gonna take a picture and send it to her after. I'm excited. This chat disgusts me, 40. Of the chat are 40 Oh, I dropped too much rice there. Woo! -hoo! The other 40 are 14 year olds pretending to be 41, and the remaining 40 
Just copy pasted the longest message they can find in the chat. And I bet that if I said something about jiggling, they would all start jiggling. The biryani, then I'm gonna cut up some strawberries. And Uder is bringing over some chocolate chips because he does not like milk chocolate and I had milk chocolate. He's like, HK, I want dark chocolate and white chocolate. And I'm like, all right, whatever you want, honey. Classic Uder, picky Uder, Uder. And you guys think I'm picky. I am not as picky as that man. Ooh, uh, this looks fan freaking tastic. Ooh, thank you for the bits. Yo, crank that jam, crank that jam. All right. Any of you any pics of pot friend with a hand Can you out pop friend? He looks nervous. Wasn't it funny when Kaizo Coliseum they asked Uder to do pop friend, but he did it so perfectly? Like, just look at that emote for one second. The hour pop friend is a little too perfect, in my opinion. Where it's like, it felt like he was practicing at home in front of a mirror. Yeah, it looks like it's definitely rehearsed, it's definitely practiced. How's that not a global emote, right? It's like he probably, I think he stood in front of the mirror before his big moment. Can you do something silly so I can make a fun edit? Oh, do you want me to do? Is that good enough? Is that good enough? Are we good? Oh my God, the strainer was perfect. Okay, we're gonna check on the chicken, but the rice, guys. Woohoo! Do we see it? Mmm, a little bit spicy. You know it's two cams? Yes, we got two cameras. Uh, uh, this pot might be a little too small. Okay, now with the rice and the ghee, it's not too spicy. He's here. Guys, scatter, he's here. He's here. Scatter, hello. Hello. He's here, guys. Scatter. Scatter. He's here. Oh my god, Hello. is that Aratira? Right we here? just want the chips. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just wanted the chips. <laughs> oh, there I am. All good? Yes. The food just got finished. Hello. Hi, Aura. We love you. Are the volume levels better this time? They said it's excellent. The music and everything wasn't too powerful. Nice. Do you like my leather pants? Looking good. Thanks. Somebody thought that I spray painted <laughs> it on. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay, look. He's a little quiet. Mm. Oh my god, it looks great. Well, we're letting it cook a little bit more though, but like... What? What do you mean, we? I honestly... I don't know. Are you taking advice from Chad again on... No. We're gonna ah. now start making... While the uh, biryani is simmering down, I'm gonna start with the uh, chocolate covered... Uh, strawberries, since I have so many strawberries. Mm. What kind of chips? So that he ended up good. getting some dark chocolate chips, 72% cacao. Yeah, so I got uh, I got one with no sugar added because I try to get things with no sugar added if possible, but mm -hmm. I don't know if it'll taste good, so I got some with sugar added too. We'll so we're gonna go with the sugar one. <laughs> no, well, we'll do a taste test. Okay. And we also have white chocolate. Okay. Bleh, man appeared on my screen. Wait. May for you, thank you for the gift of stuff to Faye. Wow, 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 thank you. Can you move two steps to the oh, left? I, I can hear him. I can hear the TTS this time. Good. I already cooked the food, so... Okay, well, I'm starving. Oh, no, no, I was just... Uh, you want to eat now? Or should I do the work on the strawberries? <laughs> no, you can... The strawberries going to take like five minutes. Yeah, that's fine. And then they have to, yeah, sit in the fridge for like five minutes, right? Guys, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try it? Yeah, you had to try, it was right? spicy. This is me. Bleh. Really? Because you don't it's, like spicy? Um, that's because I didn't realize that the Bombay biryani masala already has spice into it that I was not supposed to add. So you put extra spice, basically. I added red chili powder. <laughs> okay. So that Chad wants to see you like a tomato. 
And yeah. I think they should. So, so they're all they're all excited just to see you though. Like me, really? I'm just a bozo that cooks. But like you're the real star of the show. I don't think so. <laughs> Only oh, gonna give you, go. you 100,000 seconds time. Oh my god, Ura, thank you for the rain. I'm never going to eat any of your food thank ever you guys again. For the bits. You have consistently shown me that you're unable to make better meals. They're awful. You're just skilled enough to make them like spicy and not salty. But the skill in your biryani can... design is so small. I will turn this camera back on when I need it. Unpleasant what is happening that turns into I have it's no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I already <laughs> watched me. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Me and my homies are out to his sink. Oh, I have to tell you something. So I'm actually going to cut off the stems, right? Mm -hmm. So yesterday, the chat was asking me how I thought about Mario Wonder. Right. Super Mario Wonder. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, you know, it's a great game. And they're like, what did you think about the Wonder Candies? And I was like, oh, it's cool though, because once you get it, you know, it transforms the entire level into something else. Right. And they're like, no, you never had Wonder Candies? It's not that. It's the one that's Wonder Seed. I'm talking about Wonder Candies. Oh. And I'm like, what the what is Wonder Candies? Wonder Candies Wonder Candies nuts been in your mouth. <laughs> Oh. They're so mean to me. Nice. Good job, guys. <laughs> Got him. Deftones. Of course, I would have seen that coming a mile away. Yeah, okay. Wait, you cut off those for chocolate covered strawberries? Yeah, because I want the whole thing in my mouth without oh. doing... Okay, fair enough. Do you want the stems on it? No. I'm just used to them with the stems. You grab them by the stems and eat them. I know, but like, you know, sometimes you just want to like put the whole thing in your mouth. Well, I mean, I would... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know anything Close about that. your ears. Oh, look, you have a sad hamster on your face. Yeah, look at that. Amazing. Please, You're gonna text yourself for a moment. No, uh, I didn't mean to leave me alone. Please, please, please dip that man's tummy in chocolate. Please, please dip that man's tummy in chocolate. Overlapping TTSs. Please, please dip that man's tummy in chocolate. Please, please, please dip that man's tummy in chocolate. Please dip that man's tummy in chocolate. First of all, they were doing it all day. First of all, they kept putting fart noises and stuff like, oh, I'm gassy in the kitchen. I'm not gassy, guys. Sure? So maybe they are simply I need a anything to be gassy. Git. Who's to say? I haven't eaten anything since I dropped Not it this morning. Really? For I yeah, have minions for such Okay, I lied. Matters. I had a bagel. Bat. I knew it. I want the bagels to go bad. Booster Tower, one of my favorite tracks. You know I only played this game just to get your attention, right? Yeah. And it, it worked? worked? Fuck you! Well, excuse you! <laughs> okay, I am sorry for my outburst earlier. I came at you with a lot of anger and that was unnecessary. Hi Aura, I hope you don't mind me messaging you. I did not say that. But if you don't feel comfortable or have the time or day, I will give you your space and will continue to enjoy your streams regardless. Lol. <laughs> I remember that message. What was that message? That oh, was, is that the that first one I said? Oh, the one you DM. ghosted me? Yeah, that's the one. And look where we are now, right? Yeah. See you guys, if you get ghosted, don't get too discouraged. It could still work out. I will push you. I see what I like and I'll never give up. Just keep sending a message every day for the Until you get blocked. For years. Yeah, you know that was 2021. And then you finally like responded to me in 2023. Yep. And you're like, oh HK, you're so sexy. I want you at Kaiser Coliseum. And I'm like, okay. Well, I don't know if that's that was the exact <laughs> message I sent you, but something like that. Oh my god, you drive me crazy with your Mario skills. What a woman. Warning, warning. Soft. There's a freaky bald man in your kitchen. What? Warning, warning. There's a freaky Where? bald man in your kitchen. I hope you don't have a gigantic bag of rice. Media, but if you don't feel thing. comfortable or have the time or day, I guess we're eating for a while. And will continue to enjoy your streams regardless, rice. lol. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I like basmati rice too. Do you want cold? You want cold or. I'm trapped in this corner. <laughs> So I have to melt the chocolate chips and then that's it, not freeze them. Oh, oh yeah, God. so one dark and one white. Aura, thank you for the Thank God you have ears. What the hell are you doing up? Right. So you want to do thank you for the follow. this and this. Hey, how are you? I don't know if it's well, no sugar. Like nervous. <laughs> Just throw those in the trash. Oh, wait, what's that? Take a spooky dookie. So I told Chad how... You're those type of guys when you share your food at a restaurant, you feed it to me. <laughs> yeah, so here and comes the airplane 
Yeah, but like, they thought it was cute though, but then somebody said, do you also chew it before and then spit it in my mouth like a bird? No, why would I do that? I think that's pretty hot. Or a madge clap. Why are you madge clapping at me? <laughs> I've had this one time. It was literally 100% dark chocolate cacao. Mm -hmm. I ate it and I never spit something so fast before. Really? So now we're gonna add a tablespoon of coconut oil. Well, gosh, if that ain't the worst pile of shit I've ever smelled. <laughs> and I've been around when Minnie cooked for Mickey just to try and get in his pants. If you're Beach trying to mouse. get the bald man to vomit, Brian. mission fucking accomplished. <laughs> uh, yuck. Beach. Any mouse. dockers in Beach. chat? When do, I get to, when do I get to try this? Rub them strawberries on your head. <laughs> All right, gift HK10 gift subs. I'll rub a strawberry on my head. Guys, you heard that? Only 10 subs and I can rub something on his head. Now the question is, which head? Let's see it, let's see I who think, I think we know which head because one of them is gonna get you banned. Wait, what? Look at that, come on! Oh my God, well. Why don't we get a pimple? Go. I already have a pimple on my head actually. Can I eat it after? All right, guys, this, this is a crazy. moment. Make sure you clip the moment. Karka, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. If you've received a gifted sub from Karka, do thank them, do thank them. In three, two, one. <laughs> Ew. It's kind of slimy. <laughs> if you get a giant pimple on there the next day, now you know why. So what do I do with this? <laughs> uh, you said you wanted to eat it, right? <laughs> I just got uh, evil oh, you know, eyes. Yeah, I enjoy okay. tips. So right now it looks disgusting. Like I'll just say. Oh, it so looks you're disgusting. doing one hand dark chocolate, one hand light chocolate? Yes. Uh, can you two change wigs? I mean, HK does have some female wigs I can put on right now, but that's uh, gonna cost you though. Yeah, that's gonna cost you for sure. All right, guys, well, you heard it. The price has changed. Twenty Mary, subs for Mary. fifteen minutes of aura to wear Either one of my wigs. In... Take it or leave it. I think it. Johnny's lost the plot, mate. If you're getting blinded by a bald head, Quick. you're not spending enough time focusing on the real skills at hand, are you? Turn down the bloody screen brightness and pay attention to the cooking, not the glaring dome. Can you turn the it's water? a live stream about Indian I food, guess. not a bloody lighthouse tour. Focus 20 on the for spices. 15 minutes. 20 is a bargain. I mean, it's way better than what I said. I said uh, 50. Oh my God, there's another five. Okay, so that's the first five? Are we doing this? Okay, five, ten. No, that's, that's it. Um, well, or is it 20 already? No, it's 20. They did it. <laughs> that's 10 total. No, Benny said right. it's 10. Well, they, they did oh. another 10, but someone said they were going to do oh, it. Oh, king. Five. Oh All right, five God. more, I think. Five, ten, fifteen. All right, guys, five more, and that's it. <laughs> I can't believe this. Five more, that's it, guys. Well, all right. Well, I'm sure they'll do it. Please, please dip one of HK's um. wigs in chocolate and put it on the bald man's head. Please, please dip one of HK's wigs in chocolate and put it dip on the bald HK's man's what? head. Please, wigs in chocolate. Dip um, no. Wigs in chocolate oh my God, there it is. You got 10, you got 25, holy shit. What the heck was that? All right, we have to, I have to go look at those. We have to thank some people. You, honey, can go to my closet and pick out a wig. Wait, I got, I got it. So out one of this. has bangs and the other one has no bangs. Oh my God, this is so wow. You look great. <laughs> Shouldn't it be like this? You want to wear it like that? Okay. Well, All right, guys. I mean, she put it on like. All right, whatever. Say hello to Baldarina. Baldarina. Oh my God, you look so cute. Guys, say hi to Baldarina. I wish I had flowers so I could throw it at you. Me so horny. Me so horny. <laughs> Me love you a long time. <laughs> Moment, guys. Get out those camcorders. Guys, thank you so much for all the subs and all the bits. In the grunge 80, era. The 80s and the 70s. Grunge era? Oh, you think like Kurt Cobain? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. It's Kirby. You're supposed to make out with it like I did. Alright, now we just hang out. 
Yeah, we got eight more minutes of wearing this. I got the clown on my face again. <laughs> she loves when you guys put the clown on my face. That's you like, guys are such dicks. <laughs> she thinks it's hilarious. Me either. I'm not no HK new dog bounty hunter. Little tiny oh hairs God, all over the place. Ha, ha. Very nice. My favorite part of your show was when you would beat the shit out of a man and then be his friend and give him cigarette at the end, completely demasculating them. High five. Uh, <laughs> Look at the white one. Yeah. I don't know what the... But that does not look like white chocolate at all. That looks like something else. Happy Easter, you holy whores! At long last, <laughs> That's what I was gonna the say. day has finally come. It looks like mayonnaise on it. Jesus, the sluttiest Christ, is resurrected no, from his dead, mayonnaise. dirty cross. Right, why don't you put so it in he front can of the 69 with yeah, the Easter bunny. That's right. It's time for an oral Olympics up in heaven to celebrate the most spankable holiday. So hop, hop, hop on over to Daddy Jesus' house so he can fuck you like a rabbit and bless you with. The holy comma mm. Christ! Why? What is that? Our tour. You look like James <laughs> Hetfield, but he makes shitty pop music. Oh this wait, that's Christmas just James Hetfield. Early Christmas. Who's James Hetfield? All that talk <laughs> about. You literally just said he's talking about the like she's about to yeah. chew it. No, you have to chew it and spit it in, 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 in my mouth. Daddy bar right. high up. One night only at Roundup okay, Saloon. Okay, this is going to be pretty itchy. Let's see. Six fifty-five, guys. Wig time is over. Bye, bye, guys. Clap it up for wigs. Thank you all for the for supporting. You know, HK. Baldarina those, looks gorgeous. Subs. Yeah, we, I appreciate all the subs, guys. It. Thank you so much for the subs. And thank you for being a trooper. I need guys, to go. say bye to Baldarina. Can I take it off? I gotta go change my tampon, guys. Ew! How much do you pay for these wigs? What do you, what do you think? Oh, it's only like 20 bucks for one. All right, so you want me to do this and yep. this, like yes. that. Let's see, taste test, here we go. Just got here. Looks fancy. He's gonna throw me out, guys. Help! Hmm. That's really good, actually. I've never had that, like, with yogurt before. But, the, like, would you, like, eat it without the yogurt? Yeah. Or you well, would prefer I mean, it with the yogurt? I don't know. I definitely think... Without it, you can do. Mmm. This actually came out pretty good. I think I definitely like it better without the yogurt, but the yogurt's like, it's an interesting like taste mix. Combination. Mmm. All right. It's, yeah. So what would you give it out of a 10? I would give it Without the yogurt, I would give it like a nine out of 10. Oh my God, okay. With the yogurt, it probably goes down a little bit. By how much? Not much, like um, 7.5. What the hell? Art doesn't deserve your cooking. <laughs> what? <gasps> Is this the end? I think we are coming close to the end. Oh no. But guys, please, please let me know what you would like to see me make next. That is going to be it for the cooking stream today. I hope you guys had a great time watching me cook and then have the bald man appear. Uh, bal Baldarina also made an appearance, uh, his ex-girlfriend. Uh, thank you for the bits. Aura, do you have any last words for chat? No. But guys, let's actually go find somebody to raid. And uh, guys, if you haven't done so yet, join the Discord, join the Discord. See you guys. <laughs> See you guys on Monday. <laughs> All right, uh, rain messages. I don't HK know if they saw that. jam. I think your camera was in front of it. What? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Oh wait, wait, what? Oh, the camera was in front. Oh, okay. One second. Wait, guys, don't leave yet. They need more dancing. <laughs> okay. <laughs>